Hello, today I'm going to show you the basic stuff that I do to every image uh, before I give it to a client. So here's an image I gave to a client, but it actually came from this. So I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in either Lightroom or Photoshop. They both really work the same, and I'll show you the settings you can change in either or. So let's uh, start with the image in Photoshop. So here it is. I'm going to actually close it out first, though, and open it. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to open it in raw mode. So I'm going to find the image. Here it is open it up and this is the way it looked like in the camera um, at the time I took the picture and I didn't really uh, realize it was so underexposed but because I record in raw mode that I'm able to um, change it and it'll still look great so first thing I'm gonna do which I do with all my pictures first is change the exposure so I'm gonna bump this up to where I think it should be all right now I don't want to go too high because then you just blow things out that's when whites get so white that you can't see any details in them so uh, make sure you don't go too crazy with that so I'm gonna bring it back to around two I tend to overexpose my stuff a little bit so like right there is where I would want it okay uh, next thing I'm gonna do is temperature um, that's basically making things look more blue or warmer and orange uh, I tend to like things a little bit warmer than most so somewhere in there uh, looks just fine to me um, you can also mess with tint if it seems too green or, 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 or purple you can change that as well but really the way it was was just fine with me now you can do auto and see what it comes up with but to me that's not even close um, so you want to change it to custom and change it the way you would want it okay all right that looks pretty good um, maybe a little more exposed <clears throat> I'm gonna jump over here right now um, I only care about some things in the picture because I'm gonna crop it differently so I'm gonna go up to my crop tool right up here or you can press C and I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll this down now and I do this one hold on shift though so that way my aspect ratio stays the same as I do it but I'm gonna crop it something like this I'm trying to use the rule of thirds here focus point should be here more empty room over here and I can chop the head off just a little bit that's okay to do um, just don't want to chop the, the chin okay that looks pretty good and if I just hit enter it'll show me it like that maybe that was too much I can go back to crop though and just kinda move this over a bit there that's perfect love it okay uh, I'm gonna go back to my uh, basic settings over here now the highlights are a little bright over here so I'm gonna bring some of those highlights down um, and you can just kinda look at the white areas and see what that's doing I'm gonna bring my shadow highlights down I'm also gonna bring my shadows she's brunette she doesn't have gray hair so I'm gonna bring some of those shadows down a little bit and this will make it more contrasty without actually changing the contrast uh, whites um, you know I'm gonna leave those up um, you can bring them down you just want to really always pay attention to skin tones as long as you get that right the clients not gonna um, care as much that's that's where they focus on um, I can bring down blacks and, um, you can see basically the hair and the eyes get really dark but I don't want to bring our eyes down too much so I'm gonna bring down black some but I don't want to go crazy with this so that looks pretty good um, we'll fix the eyes in a little bit clarity um, what this is does is basically creates contrast between colors um, and it looks makes things look sharper like I can see individual hairs and things like that but the the downside is it doesn't it's not very flattering against skin so um, what you want to do is probably take this down if it's an up close picture um, and I'll show you how to use clarity in a different way though in a minute all right vibrance basically how colorful do you want it to be do you want it really vibrant um, this looks cool in a way but the skin again is too colorful um, they'll they'll not like that they get to look fake so you could turn up vibrance a little bit and it really depends on your subject they have a lot of acne or something like that you're not gonna want to do it as much um, so that looks pretty good now let's do a couple things here so before I move on I'm gonna I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can zoom in using uh, this right here I'm gonna go to 100 percent this is called going one to one and basically I'm looking at uh, pixel by pixel you can see individual pixels now if you're 100 percent okay I'm gonna start using my adjustment brush and basically uh, I can do some of those same effects with using just this brush so um, one thing I want to show you is maybe how to get the eyes to brighten up a little bit since we turned them down some so I'm gonna turn up the clarity alright and I'm gonna turn up saturation and I'm also gonna turn up exposure a little bit and I can just kinda um, color around the eyes here all right and it just makes them a little more punchy now you don't probably don't see a huge difference if I turn up the exposure you'll see it though so you don't want to go crazy with it but if you just want to kind of get it to where you want she has these hazel eyes so maybe I turn up the saturation a little more to show that 
Um, and again, like you can see that, so that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so to get out of this mode right here, I can just click back on the hand or zoom out. Um, and maybe that's a little too much. So if I'm like, Ugh, you know what, that's that's a little creepy. So I could, <laughs> I could click on this and then maybe back down the, you just wanna click on it right there first and maybe back down that, that exposure um, just a bit. So somewhere right in there looks just fine though. All right, next thing I wanna do is actually increase the clarity for the hair. Um, that's a great place to do more clarity is not on the skin. So I'm gonna go back to that brush there and I'm gonna change this stuff. So you can see when I change this stuff now, it's not changing the last one, I'm on new. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna be a separate brush. So I'm not gonna change the exposure necessarily, and, but I do wanna pump up my clarity and not change the saturation for this, what I'm about to do. So I can change my brush size, it's kinda of small right now, but I can just up this a little ways and that looks pretty good. Now if you watch the hair, basically I'm adding clarity to the hair. It really makes the hair, a, um, really stand out a little more punchy and stuff like that and you can and you can adjust this and see what it looks like with or without it now this is like too it just looks flat and um, mushy so if you turn this up you can see it it's, it's much more intense it shows a lot more uh, sharpness um, so somewhere like that looks good you can also do it like in the arms and stuff like that or other details um, in the background but uh, this really isn't the photo for it so we're not going to mess with it any more than that Okay, good. We're done with our brushes. So uh, now I'm gonna um, go back to the hand here so I can get back to my basic stuff. Uh, I'm good here. So the next thing I'm gonna look at is uh, sharpening. So if I go to 100%, I wanna get nice and close so I can see it. And right now it's a, it's a pretty sharp picture even though it was low exposure. So I'm gonna turn up uh, the sharpening a little bit more but don't go crazy with it when you start to see individual pores and things like that or details you don't really want to see then don't go any higher so I'm gonna go somewhere around 30 but now I'm also starting to see more grain alright so what I'm gonna do is come to here noise reduction I was at ISO 400 so I shouldn't have to raise this up much but I'm gonna bump this up and if you go real high what happens though is they start to look like plasticky see here's low grainy top plasticky <laughs> so you want to find a good middle ground alright um, so I'm gonna go probably somewhere around 30 and call that good. She has relatively great skin, so um, if I would say if they have some acne or other problems like that, then you could really up the up the luminance of the noise reduction and you'd really take care of a lot of that. Um, all right, that looks cool. Again, we're not trying to make things look fake. We're just trying to give the client what they want. All right, let's now go to hue and saturation and luminance, HSL, grayscale. Um, I'm gonna zoom out for a second. So you can see, here's the whole image, right? Now, you can actually just uh, uh, change certain things in your select so like saturation. Oh, I had the green already turned up. Um, if I look at hue, I can take just individual colors. Like if I take orange, that is their skin tones, right? So like if you just want to change the skin tones, you would change it there. So that's not something I really want to mess with unless they had a bad spray tan. All right, so I'm gonna take the greens here. I like this to be a little more green right here as well. So I'm gonna up the green some and you can see how much greener it gets compared to yellow. So I'm taking the yellow, turning it more green. I can also go to the saturation of green. I can turn it up to there. Um, and I can also go to luminance and make the greens darker or brighter. Okay, so you can kind of mess with that. Get whatever feel you would like. I like the green uh, against the uh, fleshy red skin. So that looks good. All right, and last thing I'm gonna show you is vignetting. Um, to make it really pop, I really like to turn up vignetting. That's that's a personal thing. Um, you can go white, but that's kind of 80s. So I, I would drop this down, and you don't want to go crazy with it. Um, it's really dark on her shoulder right here, but you know somewhere around like negative 20 something it looks pretty good. So without, it's without, and that's with, and it really just makes the subject stand out from the background a little more. I do this with almost all my photos. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do it. Okay, looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go to open image. And now once it's in Photoshop, you could do this in, in Lightroom using the spot removal tool. And I could have done it just a second as well, as well in raw mode that I was just in. Uh, but I'm gonna do it right here instead. So here's the spot healing brush. And what I can do with that is I can go in here and just basically grab any hair that isn't there. Again, we're not trying to make it look fat or like trying to make someone look skinny and they're not. We're just trying to you know fix little things that they wouldn't want in the photo. So. Just kind of grab some of that stuff, 
that looks good. Basically, I'm going to take these hairs, though, the ones that are just really noticeable. You're not going to chase every hair. You'll go nuts and end up looking kind of fake and stuff like that. So just don't worry too much about it. Just try to get all the little hairs out. That looks good. I'm not even going to mess with these. Um, I think they look just fine. Sometimes you see, like, little hairs show up, though, and you can just kind of go over it twice if you need to. Um, just be careful that it's not creating lines on their face, but that looks pretty good there. And if you notice, like, a little infection, I don't know if this is a mole or not, but you can kind of just take those little areas up too. You don't want to actually take, if you know it's a mole, don't remove it. That's that's part of them. I wouldn't suggest that. Okay. All right. So I can zoom out and there, there's the final image. If I want to say this is a JPEG, I'm just going to do save as and then drop this down to JPEG. So looks pretty good. And in the next video, uh, if you'd like to see, I'm going to work on creating punchy sports um, photos. So check that out if you want to see how to make things look really pop. All right. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.